Lifelong Republican John Shakey Harkin sadly passed away on Wednesday the 3rd of February after a brave battle with cancer. Due to the COVID-19 situation and guidelines, we as a movement could not organise around John's funeral like we would have liked to. As recognition to John and his family, we would like to now deliver a tribute to you all.
They have told us we must yearn for liberty. Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. With all my love I place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love for we must say goodbye. Now I know it's hard for you, my love, to ever understand The love I bear for these brave men, my love for the steer land But when Padraig called me to his side, down in the GPO I had to leave my own sick bed, to him I had to go. Oh Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. My love, I place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Now as the dawn is breaking, my heart is breaking too. For this May morn as I walk out, my thoughts will be of you. And I'll write some words upon the wall so everyone will know. I love so much that I could see his blood upon the rose. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I must die. With all my love, I place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Now there won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Her son public Tanatara, but while on our kids covering a horch. Lesha Van Kela Eileen, August Fasha, Terry Edel, Jody, August Carly, August the Clan Fian, Margaret, Joseph Ritchie, Francis and Paula. Tat Shiv in our Schminche, August Sashi Mitz Livsha, Egan Am Brunak Shaw. Our friend and comrade John Harkin died on the 3rd of February after his battle with cancer. 
When we all heard of John's illness, we all hoped that somehow John, the great fighter that he was, would come through. And yet, throughout his illness, that familiar strength of character was ever present. Only days before he faced major surgery came the suddenness of his son Brian's death. This unthinkable tragedy was placed on the shoulders of Eileen and John, and yet together they became the source of strength for all those around them, family and friends. Sadly, it was not to be, and now on this, the day of his month's mind, we take time to send our thoughts, sympathy, and continuing solidarity to his wife Eileen, his children Terry, Dale, Jody, and Carly, and his brothers and sisters Margaret, Joseph, Richie, Francis, and Paula. Now, as we all reflect on a life well lived, of John's contribution as an Oglock, as an activist over many decades, indeed, John was in the FINA in 1969. We remember him as a friend and someone very much part of our community, always working on its behalf. We also take time to reflect that you, his family, mourn the loss of the person who was at the center of your lives. Finding words at times such as this is always difficult, if not impossible. Words to comfort you, to console you, and now you are without the many things that too often are taken for granted. I hope you find some comfort in the way people came to your side, even in these times of public health restrictions, to stand with you in whatever way they could, to be with you and offer their support and solidarity. I hope you find some comfort in knowing the great esteem John was held in throughout the city by all who knew him. You will know him as a husband, a father, brother, grandfather, uncle, and all the things that he brought to your lives, big or small, that sense of always being there. These now are the stories that you will tell of him, all of them coming together to give you those precious memories and an enduring legacy as you go forward in life. Carry them with you. Let them be your well of wisdom and guidance in moments of great sadness. Mourn them dearly and now treasure his memory all the more. John was well known in Derry as a singer and a storyteller. Known to all in these circles is shaky. When he entered the room, it was a room that would be filled with laughter as he took centre stage. He used his talents and personality for the benefit of others in the many charity functions for a myriad of good causes and for people in their hour of need. John knew and understood the hardships and challenges that confront people in their everyday lives. It was all around him as he grew up in Craigan. He came from a large family and from his mother and father, he learned the values of generosity, kindness, empathy, and these he brought to every aspect of his life. He grew up at a time when oppression and multi-occupation was on our streets, when his friends and his family stood up and resisted the brutality of the state. Richie, his brother, would spend many years in the Gilligan and Long Cash prison. His and Eileen's home from the day they were married in 1976 was a place of refuge and respite for their comrades. And whereas he had that warm outward personality and charm, his work as an IRA volunteer was carried out in a quiet, unassuming manner, but with the determination, resolve and courage that won the admiration of his comrades. He understood the need for change and accepted the challenges that came with it. His support was unwavering until the end, and it was something we all appreciated and cherished. John knew what his strengths were. He understood what he needed to do, and with every task asked of him came that same level of commitment and discipline, that spirit of, I will never let you down and he never did. This was epitomised the night volunteer Joe Walker was killed. John was the driver of the car. The four volunteers were travelling while in active service. Joe was fatally wounded. 
John and the other two volunteers were shot and wounded. Despite his injuries, he was able to drive the car to a safer location, which ensured quick medical aid was possible. John often spoke of the great honour bestowed on him when he spoke at the anniversary of Joe's death. This is the courage and bravery of John Harkin and also his great humility. And in Eileen, not only had he a soulmate, but someone who stood and walked with him every step of the way. Their children know the love that was laid before them and the sacrifices made for them to live out their lives in the way that they have. As is too often the pain and harshness of life, he was taken from us too early. And this perhaps is the hardest blow of all. His friends and comrades will miss the cheeky charm, the warmth of his company, and the laughter of his wit, which engulfed us all over many years. Yet we are thankful that we knew him, that he was part of our lives, that he was our friend, our comrade, and he was a tower of strength for so many until the end. So as we do say, Slana Willia, John, you have left us all with many memories and with the benefit and reward of that great bond of Republican comradeship, which has no equal. And for this, we are forever grateful. John, our kids make us, August, our mass more, go Joe. Slana Willia.